going to talk to you and give you some techniques about listening. Listening is probably one of the hardest skills in the language, but we can give you some techniques to help you understand the key points in your assessment, which are going to help you to get the answers to your question. The first thing you do when you get your paper is you split your paper in two. As you can see, one side, the left hand side for the notes, the right hand side for your answers. I'm going to show you later on how they're going to work. Done this, you look, you read the presentation of what you're going to hear about. So, for example, in here, Gabriella talks about reading. So, you know already what the topics of the audio file that you're going to hear. People are going to talk about leisure, they're going to talk about reading. So, you know, in your head, and you focus in your head of the type of vocabulary, the type of words you know in Spanish um, linked to that topic. Once you've done this, you look at your keywords, you highlight your keywords. It is really hard to listen to someone speaking in Spanish and in your head trying to follow the question and trying to understand what they are saying. Uh, it's hard for everyone, so by highlighting your keywords, you know already what you need to focus on. So once you've highlighted the keywords, what is really going to help you is actually to translate these keywords. So. Uh, as you can see in here, all my keywords are translated in Spanish. You may not know all of them, but it's not a problem. You, you translate as many as you can. And if sometimes you don't know the exact words, um, but you, you write the words closest that you know, and, and then when you listen to the Spanish, you, you try to focus on the words, and that should uh, help you to, to follow um, the, the audio files and the questions. Another thing which is really hard is obviously to, to write your answers when you are actually listening. So our, um, our wee tip for this is that you don't try to answer the question when you are listening, but you're actually taking notes of what you understand. So for each of the question, you write some words that you hear in Spanish or you hear and you translate them in English. doesn't matter the, the language you use or doesn't matter if the spelling is correct even for the Spanish. You just need to um, to have them to, and these notes are actually going to help you to answer your questions. But you only answer your question at the end because remember you're going to hear it three times. And after each of the the hearing, you're going to have one minute. So during this one minute, you look at your notes, and it's where you start answering the questions. So don't panic, you hear it three times, so don't panic if you don't understand and if you don't answer all the questions the first time. Give yourself a chance to listen to it again and to give more details to your notes and then add your answers. Even if you only write your answer um, at the end, like uh, when you've heard the three planes, then it's perfectly fine. And then make sure your answers make sense because sometimes your answers are not making sense in English and it's hard to give you the point. Hope this helps you. If you've got any other question, just don't hesitate to ask.